Welcome to the video tutorial for the Plants and Herbs Square Border, which is one of five contributions by Veronica Gadolova to the Wrapped in Jamie Carl. This is what the corner is going to look like when it's finished, and I'm going to guide you through the process of making it. You can find the links to the pattern below in the description and other resources that we have available for you. Okay, so I've already started with the pennant because it's the first round of the square border is pretty simple. I finished my previous square, which is also a design by Veronica, the dragonfly square, with the color that I wanted to use for the square border, which was all, um, uh, a single crochet in the third loop all the, way, all the way around. And the first round of the square border was only single crochet and single crochet in back loops according to the pattern. So I've done that and I've also placed some stitch markers. The blue and red stitch markers, so the, the red goes in the first free front loop, this blue one in the second free front loop, then the red in the third free front loop, and this one in the la oh, this one here in the last. And then also, I've placed two more sets of stitch markers, which go into the front loops of the stitches in this round here. We're going to work into them in the next round, and just to be sure that we can find uh, or to make it easier to find the correct stitches. I've already placed them. So this one here goes counting from the corner in the fifth stitch. One, two, three, four, five, in the fifth front loop. And then this one, you just go above the blue one here and then you count back one, two, three and place it in here. And the other way with this one, go up above the red stitch marker and go one, two, three and place it in the front loop only. And here, this is again the fifth from the corner space. So one, two, three, four, five, place it in the front loop. And once you've done that, if you want to work with stitch markers, which you can, but you don't have to, then follow me along for round 22. We start the round with a chain one and a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then two single crochet at the beginning. And our first stitch is a two together stitch. The first leg is going to be a double crochet leg, which is worked in that free front loop here, where we placed, in this case, the red stitch marker. So we work begin to work one leg, which is the double crochet leg. The second leg is a treble leg and we work it forward, starting to count from the next stitch, which is this one here. We go one, let me try to show you a little bit better. Okay, so this is the last stitch I made a single crochet in two. And this is my next stitch, which is my stitch zero. So starting to count from this one, I go one, two ahead. And this is the front loop I'm going to work into. It's the front loop of the stitch that is one round below. Making my treble into that front loop there. And that is the first together stitch, which is the two together A. Now I skip a stitch behind this together stitch. I make a single crochet and then, because that's the only part that is left, a single crochet in the back loop, and then another single crochet. Now I'm going to go back with a treble in the same front loop. So that's this one that I just worked into. Okay, and I skip a stitch behind, and then two single crochet. A single crochet in the back loop only. 
two single crochet and then I'm working forward with a treble plus two minus one starting to count from the next stitch I go one two and work in the front loop of the marked stitch skip the stitch behind single crochet single crochet in back loop only single crochet and now again I'm going to work a two together stitch the first leg is going back into the front loop where I just made that stitch and the second leg oh sorry is a DC leg and I'm going into that stitch around below that I've marked and I bring them together. I skip one stitch behind and then I make three single crochet. Single crochet in the back loop only and I'm just going to mark this stitch with another stitch marker. Actually, I'm going to use purple. Another three single crochet. Now I'm going to work a two together stitch again, where the first leg is the DC leg, just like I did in the beginning. And that goes into this free front loop here. And the second leg is a treble leg and it goes ahead into the front loop that I've marked here. So if you want to count, you go zero, one, two, and in the front loop of the stitch, one round below. Skip one stitch, single crochet, back loop only, single crochet. I'm going to take this one out and I'm going back again in the same stitch where I just anchored my my um, second leg the treble leg of the two together stitch skip one stitch two single crochet single crochet in the back loop only I'm using a pink stitch marker for that and I actually place a pink stitch marker here at the beginning too so that that's done it won't be forgotten and then another two single crochet now a treble forward zero one two into the front loop of the stitch one round below. Skip one stitch, single, back loop, single. I'm taking this one out. And I go back with a treble leg of a two together stitch in the same front loop as before. And the next leg is a DC leg, and that's worked one ahead and two rounds down, which is here. And then together, skip one stitch, and then we've got two stitches left until, oops, <laughs> until we are in the corner. Okie dokie. So let's do that together one more time. Two single. The two together where the first leg goes one back and two rounds down. It's a DC leg and the second leg goes ahead. So from this stitch, zero, one, two. And that's the front loop we work into. Then skip one stitch, single, back loop 
single and working back with a treble leg in the same stitch or in the same front loop, I should say, as before. There we go. Skip one stitch, two single. Single crochet in back loop only. Another two single. Working forward with a treble. Zero, one, two. Skip one stitch, single, back loop, single. Going back with a treble leg in the same front loop as before, which is minus two, minus one. And going forward with a DC leg, plus two, uh, uh, plus one, minus two. Bring them together. Skip one stitch, three single crochet. Let me see if I skipped, I think I missed to skip one stitch. So let's go back and do it correctly. There you go. That's the stitch I needed to skip. One, two, three. So now, now it's done. And single crochet in the back loop only. Another three single. Going back one stitch and two rounds down with a DC double crochet leg. And forward two stitches and one round down. So zero, one, two. For the treble leg and then bring them together. Skip one stitch, single, back loop, single and going back with a treble in the same front loop where we just anchored the second leg of our two together stitch. I'm working with Flinders yarn here, which I actually like to work. It's, it seems a bit splitty at the moment, but usually it's okay. Um, where was I? So, ah, two single. I've already made one, so two single, single in the back loop only. And then another two single crochet. Going forward with a treble, zero, one, two. In the front loop of the stitch, one round below. Skip one stitch, single, back loop, single. Now going back with a treble leg in the same front loop where we just anchored that treble. And with a second leg, a DC leg going forward one stitch and down two rounds. And we've got two single crochet at the end. So now all you have to do is to repeat that two more times on the other sides and then close with a slip stitch into the first single crochet of the starting corner and that's where we're going to meet for round 23. Round 23 is pretty easy. We are mainly going to fill some gaps and we're also going to insert a few stitches, but it's pretty straightforward. Chain one, single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the chain to corner space from the previous round and then three single crochet. So now behind this special stitch, we're going to work a DCBB, which means we're going to work a double crochet into the top loops of the stitch that we skipped in the previous round, meaning the top loops of the stitch behind and two rounds below. And then another three single. And 
a HTC BBX, which is very similar to the DC, but instead of a DC, we would make a HTC. But because it has that X behind, means we are going to work a variation. So we go through the top loops of the next stitch first, and then we go through the top loops of the stitch that we skipped two rounds below. Or we skipped it in the last round, and the top loops are two rounds below. I'm going to adjust the height of this HDC to, the, to be the same height as the previous single crochet. So from here, two more single crochet. And now we're going to work a 4DC cluster. And we work it in that free front loop two rounds below. And for the cluster, we start four legs, four DC legs in that instance here. All in the same front loop. And then go, oh, <laughs> look at that. Okay, and then go through all, and I'm closing with a chain one. This chain one does not count as a stitch, and if we would work into it, we need to be careful to work in only one of those stitches, but because we're going to work behind it, it's not that relevant anyway. Another two single crochet, and again we're going to make a HDC BB. So yarn over for the HDC, the half double crochet, into the top loops of the next stitch, and also into the top loops of the skipped stitch. And then working a HDC and adjusting the height to be the same as the single crochet. Three single crochet now. And a DC BB means we are going to work a double crochet behind and below the next stitch, which is a special stitch. Seven single crochet. And then again a DC BB. So those seven single crochet should bring you to the next special stitch. And we're going to work a double crochet behind that special stitch. Then three single, a HDC BB going through the top loops and the skipped loops here, working our HDC, adjusting the height two single, and then a cluster of four double crochet. Close with the chain one, skip the stitch behind, two single crochet, and again the HTC BB. So in this pattern, oh, let's just finish that and then I'm going to say it. Three more single, a DCBB, and then three single again. So in this pattern, the first half of the pattern is, is copied into the second half. So what we're doing here, we're going to repeat here. So it's not a mirror, it's the same actually, because this side is going to be mirrored. Beautiful, beautiful pattern, wonderfully written by uh, Veronica, and a uh, pleasure to work. You have to be careful with a few of those sides and a few of those stitches, but that's why I'm going to guide you through it. I'm actually not going to repeat that on the other side because that was pretty straightforward. So I'm going to meet you after you've done that three more times here 
and close with a slip stitch. We always close our rounds with a slip stitch, but if you've done one of the squares, you already know that. And we just ignore the chain one space at the beginning. So I see you for round 24. Round 24 is one of those rounds where we need to be careful and, and need to concentrate a little bit. So probably not good to watch any TV and maybe not even to listen to an audiobook. Or maybe, maybe that. Okay, so let's go slow and together. Our first stitch is a single crochet in the back loop only, followed by two single crochet. And you notice that I did make the corner, chain one and then the single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the corner space. Okay, the next stitch is a treble plus one minus two. So we go zero, one and down one, two. And we're going to work into the top loops of that two together stitch there. So just making that travel into those top loops. Skip the stitch behind and then two single crochet. Now we're going back with a treble, minus two, minus two, but we're only going to work around leg one of that two together stitch. So there is a two together stitch at minus two and minus two. We're only going to work around the first of those legs. So this is the two together and this is the first leg. So our treble goes around this leg only. One and two and treble. Okay. Skip one stitch, two single crochet. And now we've got a two together stitch that is a bit unusual. So let's go slow. The first leg is a double treble leg and it's going to be worked back into the top loops of this stitch that we just made in this round. This stitch here, the treble, front post treble. So we're going to work backwards with a double treble into the top loops of this stitch there. And it helps just to turn the work for that. And the second leg is a front post leg, but it will be worked from the opposite side. So we're going to go around this stitch here, but instead of inserting the hook from your normal direction, we're going to insert the hook from the opposite side. And then I bring the arm to the front and then I pull behind the stitch and behind that first loop. And then I'm just making my normal treble. Or my treble is normal and then I bring it together because this is a two together stitch. Then I skip one stitch and I make another single crochet, which should bring you just before this cluster stitch here, behind which we're going to make a DCBB, so a double crochet behind and below. Another single crochet and now a front post treble around this stitch here. So we're going forward. One forward and two down. Then we skip this stitch behind there. And we'll make two single crochet. Now again, we have one of those funny stitches. And the first leg is also again a double treble leg. And also again, will be worked in the top loops of that special stitch that we just made. So we're going to work back into those top loops with a double treble and the second leg is a front post treble that is going to be worked around the second leg only of the stitch two ahead and three rounds down which is 
this one. Zero, one, two, one, two, three. Oh, sorry, no, one, two. It's two down. So it's a front post treble leg plus two minus two. But it's a front post treble two because we're only working around the second leg. Not the first and not the whole stitch, only the second leg. Skip one stitch, two single crochet. And now again, we're going back with a, a double crochet, minus one, minus two, which means we're going back into the top loops of the same stitch where we just worked around the second leg. So that's here. There's only a double crochet, minus one, minus two. Skip the stitch behind and then two single crochet. Now we're going to work in the front loops, no, in the front loop of the stitch that is three rounds below with a treble. So that goes straight down treble into that front loop there. Skip one stitch, two single crochet. Now we're going forward with a front, uh, with a treble, plus one, minus two, zero, one, one, two. We're going to work into the top loops of this two together stitch there. with a treble. Skip the stitch behind, two single crochet. And now going back, minus two, minus two, around the first leg. So we're starting our repeat. See, that was the first stitch of our repeat. Well, actually, the, from here on. We, that's the same that we made here. So let's do it again. We, we did that, um, at, uh, we worked that treble leg into the top loops and now we're going to work back around leg one only of that two together stitch with a front post treble. Skip the stitch behind, two single crochet. Now a two together stitch where the first leg is a double treble and we work it into the top loops of the stitch that we just made, that front post treble. And keep your loops tight there, otherwise you get big, big V's there. And you probably won't want that. And the second leg is going back one stitch and two down and it's worked from the opposite side. So I've yarned over twice and I'm going to work around this stitch but I insert my hook from the opposite side like that. Bring the yarn to the front, pull it through the stitch and the first loop and then I just work my treble as usual. There is a link to the video that's dedicated to the stitch if you want to have a closer look. We skip one stitch and then make one single crochet and a DC BB. Another single crochet and going forward with a front post treble around that stitch there. Two single crochet. Always skip, always skip the stitches. Always skip the stitches behind a special stitch. Now our funny, second funny stitch. Three yarn over for double treble, going back three stitches into the top loops of that front post treble we just made. Turning the work helps. Okay, so that's the first leg and the second leg is a front post treble, which we're going to work around leg two only. 
of the stitch that is two ahead and two rounds below. Which was that two together stitch at the end there. I skip one stitch, two single crochet, and back with a double crochet into the top loops of the same stitch we just worked around like two. So here are the top loops of that stitch and I'm working a DC into those top loops. Skip one stitch, two single crochet, and at the end of the side we're going to make a single crochet in the back hoop only. So we've done the design twice now basically. So to repeat that on the other sides, maybe just rewind and do that again. And then once you've closed the round with your slip stitch, I'm going to meet you for round 25. 